So let's uh, take a look at this new update. First I'll start with the release notes and then I'll look for other improvements. So the first thing is uh, text size. Uh, you can now control uh, text size for the speedometer and uh, other things on the screen. I know people have complained about this before. Um, so that's a nice uh, change. Uh, you can now search for uh, different settings, which is nice. I uh, often use this on my uh, phone and uh, on my computer uh, because I don't uh, like to look through all the menus to find uh, what I want. I uh, like to just search and uh, find it immediately. Points of interest uh, for supercharger locations, that's nice. You can see if there is a shop there, a bathroom, uh, Phone call controls, you can now control phone calls from the steering wheel. That's awesome and a much needed feature. I like to take calls while driving, so uh, this is a very nice addition. You can uh, take the call or uh, decline the call from the steering wheel. Scroll wheel customization, this is one of the biggest ones. Uh, you can choose what the left scroll wheel on the steering wheel does. Uh, so it says there you can adjust settings like brightness and acceleration mode or perform actions like toggling the camera app, opening the glow box and saving dashcam footage. Long press the left scroll wheel button to bring up a list of function, uh, functions and scroll through the list. To choose which functions come uh, up by default go to controls display scroll wheel function. And you have gear chimes. Um, which is a new feature and voice recognition uh, language uh, I know no supports British English not just American English so when I open the settings menu you can actually search for the settings here and you get some highlighted features and these are of course the new features of this update like you can choose large text size uh, this will prompt a system restart And now we have large text size, so I can already see that everything, including the speedometer, the gear, the whole settings menu have much larger text. That's nice if you have had problems with uh, seeing all the uh, settings and the speedometer and stuff. Now let's uh, take a look at the scroll wheel customization feature. So it's here. Scroll wheel function. Uh, so we can ask each time. Okay, so now I have the ask each time option enabled. So if I hold the scroll wheel, I'll get a list. So you can choose here. Steering wheel heat. Okay, let's go through everything. None. Temperature. Fan speed, brightness, save dashcam, acceleration mode, steering wheel heat, camera, defrost, dome lights, open glow box. So I can click open glow box and the glow box will open. Yeah, well, you can press uh, right to enable the different ones. Enable defrost, disable camera. If I enable the cameras will open acceleration mode chill so you just need to actually you don't need to click on options you can just scroll and it be chosen so if you like chill acceleration mode you can have that enabled uh, pretty quick uh, quickly save dashcam brightness that's for the display brightness yeah you can just scroll through Wow, that's awesome. Fan speed, high, medium, low. We'll actually have it on low for this video. Temperature, can be scroll. Nice. And yeah, that's uh, everything. If I choose a single feature here, let's say uh, dome lights. 
when I hold the left scroll wheel, only dome lights will uh, come up here. You can get access to all the other features, but this will be the default one. So, if you want a default function, you can uh, choose it from the scroll wheel function menu uh, in the settings, and you'll get dome lights here as default. You can hold in and you'll get the default function, but if you press left on the left scroll wheel, you will get access to all the other uh, features. Yeah, if you want the default function to come up or the list every time, uh, that's, your, uh, that's your options in the settings. Gear chimes are actually enabled by default, so let's try. Here is the uh, points of interest, and you can see photos and reviews of the supercharger location. Yeah, uh, there are um, a menu for nearby amenities, and you have some pictures of the location. You can now uh, adjust wiper speed uh, with the left scroll wheel. So you press the wiper button once, and it'll wipe once, and you can choose with the scroll wheel. Um, if you want uh, the different speeds, or if you want it on auto. This is a very nice change that uh, a lot of people have asked for, because you don't need to use the touch uh, screen when adjusting the wiper sp uh, speed. The new speedometer font is actually way more noticeable, even in the standard text size mode. Uh, I really like it, it's a nice font. There is a new charge limit screen, which makes it much easier to change the daily charging limit. Mm -hmm.